Hello everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you how to sew the inline drawstring dress. Now I had already told you how to draft the pattern for this dress. So if you missed out on it, you might want to click on the link below in the description box or above this video right here. So it shows you how to draft or modify or adjust the patterns into this particular design. But for those of us who, those of us who will not like to go through the pattern drafting process, the electronic pattern for this dress is available in my online store. The interesting thing about this pattern is that you can actually make three outfits from this pattern. You can make <clears throat> a crop top with a peplum sleeve or you can make a drawstring skirt or you can make the full outfits of a drawstring inline dress so the pattern is available in a4 format and in us body size 0 to 18 so it doesn't matter what size you are it's available for you to download assemble put on your fabric and cut so just simply visit the link below the description box um, to download the electronic pattern, electronic sewing pattern. By the way, my name is Quincy Kanayo Okoje and you are super welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and do not forget to hit the notification bell to be notified of more videos that are to come. Also, it will mean a lot to me if you hit the like button to like and to like this video. So for those of us who would like to join me in the sewing process, make sure you keep watching. I'm going to be using this fabric, this cotton printed fabric to make my outfit. But before I place my patterns on it, I'm going to uh, place them based on the gray line of the fabric. Now, for those that don't understand gray line, you might want to click on the link in the description box to join one of my pattern drafting classes where I teach you or make you understand the importance of gray lines on your fabric and all of that. So I'm going to test the gray line of my fabric and then fold my fabric into two. Now, the first piece I'm going to place is, of course, my front piece. You know, the center front piece is <clears throat> will need to be placed on the folded end of my fabric. So I'm going to place it on the folded end of my fabric and I'm going to cut 0 0.5 inches round as seam allowances. So I'm going to cut 0 0.5 inches as a seam allowance round the center front piece. Now for the side pieces, I'm going to cut all other parts 0 0.5 inches except the side seam. Now the side seam is going to be one inch.
Then the next piece I'm going to place, of course, is my back piece. The center back, I'm going to place it one inches away from the folded end. This will serve as my zipper. As you can see, my fabric is a woven fabric. So I will need to include zipper at the center back so that I'll be able to wear the outfit. So I'm going to leave one inch for my zipper allowances. Then all other sides will have 0 0.5 inches seam. Can you count it? Can you think of it? Of course. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, I know be count. I know be count. I know be count. You the dry counter. I know be count. You the dry counter. I know be count. So now that I'm done with my bodies, I'm going to take out my front, the front for my skirt. I'm going to place the fabric. We are cutting this piece one each, okay? So we don't need our fabric to be folded in ink warehouse. So I'm going to spread them out on my fabric and hold them down with a pin. Now, because I am making a drawstring, I will need seam allowances for my rope to pass through so the curve where my drawstring is going to be the seam allowance i'm going to leave will be about one inches then at the top we'll have my 0 0.5 inches and for the side i will have one inch and then for the hem i want my skirt to be longer than its original length this is because by the time you pull your drawstring your skirt tends to be shorter at the front so I'm going to add 2.5 inches at the hem before I'll cut. Through the prophecy, this is definitely the gem of the year. Count on the goodness of Jesus and reflecting our authority in Christ as sons and daughters of Jesus of the Most High. God bless you. to you one of the best choirs in the city of lagos nigeria so i'm going to do the same for the side front of the skirt and the other side for the skirt come on now that should be two today 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 come on baba baby what baby she Then the next is the back piece. So our A line is for the back piece is completely A line. So um, we're also gonna cut two pieces of this. So I'm gonna fold my fabric into equal halves and then place my back piece. Just like the uh, body's back piece, I'm going to leave one inch at the center back for my zip allowance. And then at the top, I'm going to have my 0 0.5 inch seam allowance. For the side, 
I'm going to have one inch and then for the hem 2.5 inches just like the front So now that I'm done cutting out the pieces on my fabric, we're going to move into you know sewing them. Uh, like I said earlier, I'll be using underlining for my sewing process. So as you can see right here, I have my back pieces on my table with the underlining next to it. So you want to place your underlining first on the table, flat on the table, and then you want to place your back pieces facing the wrong side facing up so you want to place it on your underlining 0 0.25 inches lower okay than its original length so you want to place it 0 0.25 inches lower at, at the neckline on the underlining so i'm just going to use my pins to hold on the neckline as well as the zipper now the reason i'm doing this is because i want my underlining to help to finish the raw edges of my fabric if you do not or if you're not planning to use underlining for your fabric then you might want to use other finishing methods like using um, bias strip or um, overlocking the edges of your fabric before proceeding but because I'm using an underlining I'll be using the underlining to finish the raw edges of my fabric. If you want to learn in more detail how to do this, then you need to visit the link right, as you can see right here, displayed above this video or at the description box. So you can see right here, I'm done with my back pieces. So I'm going to take my front pieces and place them the same way, especially the center front piece, the same way that I did with the front. So the lining first on the table, and then your fabric wrong side facing up on the underlining. And just like I did earlier, you want to make sure that your underlining is higher at the neckline by 0 0.25 inches, and you hold it down with your pins. So I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and then stitch. So you can see that I'm done stitching the neckline for the center front piece. Using my press iron, I'm going to press iron the neckline. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, I know be count, I know be count, I know be count. Then you want to attach the side pieces for your front piece to the sides of the center front. I'm going to do this using my pins. So I'm going to set aside the front piece and then focus on the back. So you also want to press iron the neckline for your back piece and then i'm going to hold down the waist dots using my pin i'm going to hold down the waist dots and you can now see how it looks so i'm going to take both my back piece and my my front piece to the sewing machine to stitch i'm going to stitch the waistline for my waist dot um 
the waist darts for my back piece and then the side pieces for my center front. So now that I'm done stitching, you can see the back piece and the, center, and the front piece. So using my ham, I'm going to press iron the seams for the side pieces so that my uh, front bodies will have that French seam curve. And then the back piece, I'm also going to press iron the darts in opposite. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, spirit of prophecy. This is definitely the germ of the year. Count on the goodness of Jesus and reflecting our authority in Christ as sons and daughters of Jesus of the Most High. God bless you. Gentlemen, we present to you one of the best choirs in the city of Lagos, Nigeria. Come on now. So you can see how my bodies now look. So I'm going to set my bodies aside and then go over to my sketch parts. Maybe what? So you can see my skirt right here, the center uh, front skirt and the side front skirt. So the first thing we want to do is to place our lining the same way we did with the um, bodies. You want to place your lining at the drawstring curve. We want to stitch our lining to the fabric. I'm going to do this for the center front skirt and the side front skirt. So I'm also going to make sure that I understitch the same to the lining just like I did so that the lining will stay properly at the wrong side of the fabric. <laughs> Are you ready for step two? Are you ready for step two? One, two, three, let's go, say! You did me teacher. Shake it, shake it, tea, bo. Shake it, shake it, tea, bo. On a tissue. Hear me, what it did. Motila, do yo. So now that I'm done, you can see how it looks. So I'm just going to press iron it so that I can smoothen out the places. Now, like I said, the reason I'm doing this is so that I can finish the raw edges of my fabric. This is where the drawstring is going to be. So I don't want um, the fabric to shred while the rope, because the rope is going to be passing through there continuously so that there's no shredding and the thing doesn't pull off, our stitches don't pull off in the future. That is why I am closing the edges of the drawstring area so i'm going to press iron to keep the place neat and see how the boat look so the next thing we want to do is attach the side front to the center front and you just want to place this wrong side facing each other uh, wrong side facing up right side facing each other can you count it can you think of it Jesus 
Jesus and all he has done for me. I know be count. I know be count. I know be count. You the dry counter. I know be count. You the dry counter. I know be count. I'm going to hold this down one inch seam allowance because that is the amount of seam we left for our just string. So I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and then I'll stitch. So now that I'm done stitching, you can see how it now looks. So on the wrong side, I'm going to press iron my seam open so that I'll be able to stitch the sides together to create a drawstring or allowance for my rope to pass through. So I'm going to hold the sides with a pin and then take this to the sewing machine and stitch the seam to the fabric. So now that I'm done stitching the same to the fabric, you can see how my skirt now looks. The next thing we're going to do is to cut out pieces for our rope. Now, since the dimension is one inch, it means that our rope will have to be 0 0.5 inches. But because we're going to be folding the rope, we'll need about one inch. So you want to cut one inch width of your rope, and the length should be um, the length should be about um, the length should be about fifteen inches long. So I'm going to cut pieces of the fabric that I have left and join them all together. Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you one of the best choirs in the city of Lagos, Nigeria. Come on now. I should be to today. 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 Come on, Baba. Maybe what? Maybe she. So now that I've cut out my fabric, my uh, fabric for the rope, you can see how long they are. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to fold the fabric, right sides facing each other, wrong side up, and stitch the edges. Say what? Say what? Let's go. So you can see that I'm done stitching the edges and you can see how my fabric now looks. So you want to attach a sewing needle, a hand needle to the um, string that you left for all the rope that you left for your fabric. Are you ready for step two? Are you ready for step two? One, two, three, let's go, say! You did me teacher. Shake it, shake it, tea book. Shake it, shake it, tea book. On She read me what they did. Mutti la luyo. 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 Mutti la so I'm just going to pass it through the hole in the rope. So I'm going to pass it through and just pass it through until I get to the other side. So what I'm doing is it's going to pull the fabric from wrong side to the right side. I can hear you. Say what? Say what? Ladies and gentlemen, you don't mean it. Let's go. 
so you can see our rope is now at the right side and you can see how it looks i did this for the second rope because we need two ropes right so we need two ropes so i've done one which is about 50 inches long and the other is about 50 inches long so you can see the two ropes right here so i'm going to pass them through the drawstring for my front that i created i want to pass them through the hole until i get to the waist line So now that I've gotten to the waist, I'm just going to use a pin to secure the rope at that end for both drawstrings. And then I'm going to place my bodies, my front bodies. I'm going to place it right side facing, facing each other on one side up on the waistline for the skirt. And I'm going to pin it together. I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and then I'll sew. Of course. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, I know be count, I know be count, I know be count. You the dry counter, I know be count up. You the dry counter, I know be count up. It's plenty time. What you call? What you call? What you call? What you call? Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you one of the best choirs in the city of Lagos, Nigeria. Come on now. Maybe what? So now that we are done attaching the bodies, the front bodies to the skirts, the front skirts, we are now going to go straight to the back piece. Now I've taken the liberty to attach the lining to the uh, wrong side of the back pieces by attaching, by stitching the zip allowances or rather by turning the zip allowances using the underlining to the wrong side. Like I said, I'm protecting the same allowances using the underlining so if you are not using underlining you might want to overlock the edges of your zip allowances before you proceed um so now that we are done as you can see i have my underlining at the wrong side of my um back pieces so what i'm just going to take, do is take the bodies the back bodies and attach it to its corresponding um back skirts and you can see how the look are you ready for step two are you ready for step two one two three let's go say so after joining the bodies of the back pieces to each to each skirt i'm going to um attach them together my zipper is about 21 inches so i'm going to uh, leave an allowance or a space for that by just stitching the 
um, leave 25, 21 inches on stitch and stitch the remaining to the bottom of the board of the skirt. So you can see how my back pieces now look. We have a single back piece. So all I'm going to do now is attach the zipper to the back piece. So as you can see, I've attached the zipper to the back piece. So the next thing to do is basically to attach the front piece to the back piece. So I'm going to place my back piece right side facing up and then my front piece wrong side facing up on the back piece. I'm seated in this glory. If you look me, you will see say I need a mobile. I got the thing I post. It does the bust in my brain. Everywhere they go, I dig up. And then I'm just going to join the shoulders using the pin, the side seam, all to the hem of the skirt. Lady, what? I can hear you. Say what? So the next thing we're going to do is focus on our sleeve. So as you can see right here, I have my sleeve pattern on cut out my sleeve fabric, cut out on my table, I have the bicep sleeve and I have the peplum. So what I'm going to do is to fold the hem of the peplum. If you have an overlock machine, all you have to do is lock the edges and fold once and then stitch. But since I do not have an overlock machine, I'll be folding twice by about 0 0.25 inch. Then after doing that, I'm just going to attach the seam, attach the peplum to the hem of the bicep sleeve. Now, after doing that, I took the liberty to open the seam and stitch the edges just like we did with our drawstring for the front of the skirt. So we have something similar here, but the difference is that there's no opening. So I'm just going to fold my sleeve into two and tip or I cut off a little bit um, of the center front of the um just drink. Authority in Christ, our sons and daughters of Jesus, of the Most High. God bless you. Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you one of the best choirs in the city of Lagos, Nigeria. Come on now. That's a beat to today. 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 Oh, my baba. Maybe what? Maybe she. Big baba. Big baba. Big baba. Big baba. Big Say what? Say she what? Big baba. 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 Big
So I've also taken the liberty to create four ropes, four tiny ropes of about 0.25 inches in total width. Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you one of the best choirs in the city of Lagos, Nigeria. Come on now. SOP to today. SOP to today. SOP to today. SOP to today. Come on, Baba. Maybe what? Big pa who? Big pa e baba. Ni nu Jesu. Say what? Say what? Big baba mi. No ni no. No ni leo. Let's go. So the next thing we are going to do is to fold the sleeve into equal halves, wrong side facing up, and then stitch from the from the armpit down to the peplum. I'm going to do the same for the other sleeve. So you can see how my sleeves now look. So the next thing we are going to do is to attach it to our dress. So I'm going to attach it to the dress and then you can see how our dress now looks. Are you ready for us? Are you ready for So the final um, thing we're going to do is to close down the hem of our skirt. Now remember your drawstring extended to the end of the skirt. So what you want to do is to create a hole of about one inch upper and then pass your rope through it so that you can have enough space to fold your um to fold the hem of your skirt. If you have an overlock machine, all you simply have to do is lock 
round and then fold once and stitch but if you do not have an overlock machine you fold twice of about 0 0.5 inches and then stitch so basically that is what i'm going to do and then we are done with our just string a line dress So finally, you can see we are done with the drawstring dress. It was a pretty, pretty long tutorial. I tried as much as I could to be detailed. But if you have any questions about the processes or the sewing processes, you can always leave a comment below this video or you can contact me privately on telegram or join any of my online classes where i teach you how to sew and um, also draft patterns i know i didn't take you through the sewing machine process of how the sewing process is that's because i have a detailed class on how to sew using your sewing machine so if you want if you are a beginner you want to learn how to sew all the basic sewing techniques how to attach zipper how to finish your uh, seams using underlining and biases or other sewing techniques you can contact me using the contact details on the description box and i will take you through the one-on-one -on -one training process where you will learn how to sew from scratch to an advanced level also remember that my pattern drafting class are available for you to be a part of and remember that this dress, there's an electronic pattern, there's a sewing pattern for it that you can download in case you don't want to go through the whole sewing process. An interesting thing about this pattern is that it also includes other outfits that you can make from this dress. So it's not just the A-line dress, you can also make the skirts, you can also make a crop top using the same sewing pattern. And of course, the sewing pattern includes sewing instructions. That is, I have detailed sewing instructions, not this video like detailed, like pictures and diagrams to show you all the processes on how you can sew this garment. All the three outfits and shorts, the three outfits that are in the sewing pattern. So if you want to um, skip the whole pattern drafting process you don't want to go through the stress of drafting this pattern all you have to do is download the sewing pattern in a4 format assemble the patterns place them on the fabric and cut and then follow the sewing instructions in the sewing pattern on how to make the three outfits that you need. so i want to thank you so much once again for joining me on this tutorial don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and do not forget to hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and the notification bell so that you can be notified of more tutorials that are going to come away. So till next time on more amazing sewing projects. Bye bye. This is definitely the gem of the year.